Of course. What is it? Could you help me once more? What is it? I must prepare the ritual for our mother's funeral. And I think that I will need your help. But your sister will be there. Surely you'd rather be together. For the ritual, yes, it will only be the two of us. But before that, your support would be a great help. Will you come with me? Of course. I'd be happy to be by your side. Let's go. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? I'm only here to accompany Siora. I came to give our mother back to the earth, Iseld. It is high time we did, I know. Performing the ritual might help me feel less empty. Iseld, I miss her too. Did you go to Vasrigan? No. Preparing the place is the role of the Donegada. I was afraid I would not do things properly. For what it's worth, you have my condolences and my sympathy. Yes, yes, I am just... Weird thoughts coming to my head right now. Well, I never had a chance of burying my mother. It's... It's insane to even think this way, but... Kind of envy you. You get to say goodbye. A burden is always lighter when it's shared. I remember when my mother came down with the illness, Malikor. If I didn't have Constantine next to me, I would have gone insane. That is true. You drew me twice as hard than usual. And dodging sparring blades was perfect excuse for both. We are approaching Vazrigan. This is where I will perform the ritual. This burial mound has been the final resting place of our queens for generations. It must be prepared before we can start the ritual. Considering everything we are lugging along, climbing from this side seems rather impossible. I guess there's a long way around. Something's wrong. Normally, you would hear the birds singing in this place. What do you mean? She's right. Something isn't quite normal. There. Canines. This is not their natural habitat at all. We cannot leave them here. So close to the burial mound. Have you noticed that more and more animals are acting rather strangely? To my help! And death to the others! Close to his redness, dearie. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. We still need to find your sword, Kurt. I do not understand.
understand what they are doing in this area. You never see any around here. They must have nested in the shadow of the burial mound. In that case, we have no choice but to destroy their nests. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming back. You are right. We cannot let these carnivores roam so close to my mother's remains. Which means that once we take them out, we need to go make bombs. Because even though it's rare, they can self-ignite and I do not fancy blowing up. So if I need them, I make them, otherwise I just keep the ingredients at hand. The beasts will no longer trouble the peace of our queen. All we have to do now is to take care of the ceremony. We'll escort you a bit longer, just in case some of them made it inside. Is there anything else to prepare? Of course. We will need some sensors crafted especially for the ritual. Where can we find them? It would be ideal if we could craft them ourselves, but otherwise the village artisan probably sells them. And I will also need some mortuary lotion. I will have to coat my mother's body with it before giving her back to the earth. I will give you a list of all the ingredients because we will have to prepare it ourselves. The merchants won't sell it. Once we have gathered these last items, then Iseld and I will be able to perform the ritual. I thank you for being by my side and helping me the way you are. It... it means a lot to me. Don't mention it, Siora. Then I'll take care of the lotion. We'll be right back. Here we are. It is on this stone altar that we will place the body of my mother. We must place a sensor where her head will be. And another near her feet. And then you will have done everything you could to help me. And I am infinitely grateful for it. Your presence by my side means a lot to me. But only my sister and I can participate in the ceremony. This is how our ritual of the dead is performed. Do you understand? I do. We'll leave you to it. There. Everything is in place. Thanks again, Onol Manawi. My sister should be joining me soon. You should wait outside. Oh, these rituals are demanding. But they help us to say goodbye to those we love. You have been a true friend. A Karantz, accepting to help me the way you did. Thank you. I will never forget the kindness you displayed. Conforming to our customs and staying by my side. We should go now. It is time to return to the living. Alright, but before we go I do have to apologize for my previous comments. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is go to the Trials of Water. So is there anything else you can tell me about the Cave Siora? Or just what you've told me already? Mm -hmm. 
And you can't accompany me inside, I presume. That is amazing news. I will, don't worry. I'm guessing this trial is gonna be a long one. If we get stuck like that, certainly. Oh. Look, they're eating the old carcass. If you poured some sleeping potion on it, they'd fall asleep. That is a good idea. I just need to be quick. And I did prepare more than a few sleeping potions, so... I know exactly what to do. Where's that haste potion? You did it, they're sleeping. We should be able to pass without a fight. Still, let's not make too much noise. These are meant for humans, not big wild beast. Right, we're through. Next trial awaits. Likely. I'm mapping out the cave. Might be useful. What is this? This reminds me of the lightning struck tree. Watch out, Anadike. Where? Oh. It's down there, it can't get to us. You two keep watch, I'm gonna see what this well is. You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you, no? Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are guides, a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky, I was floating, carried by the wind, and it was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. I felt my blood freezing in my veins. I fell to the ground and spun slowly, and then the sun warmed me. Suddenly I bounced on the ground, and I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Then, just like before. The vision dissipated, and I was suddenly with you again. It sounds far less impactful when you put it like that. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it's supposed to evoke death. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Here this looks like a snowflake. The snow, or maybe ice. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. On this stone, the sun is visible. This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the wind. So if I'm not wrong, wind, snowflake, water, sun should do the trick. What will they do? No wait, sun, then water.
Don't be so sure the Narai looks completely peaceful. If you are certain, but still stay close to the ground so we don't risk angering it. Weird, I feel like I just asked it if it could open a door for us. They could open a door for us. And they did. Curious. And that is the mural. We did it. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi. And a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano. One of the faces of Enon Mir Frichtemann. Yeah. Trust me, those visions, you might not have experienced them, but... It's incredible how real they feel. They're tear to mud on Almanawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Enter. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In choosing the path of silence, you avoided confronting the Dosantats. Finally, you have completed the ritual, and in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasach towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichtemann now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the sanctuary. I warn you, your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I am told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, Blatnid, Ulan and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes, I heard about your loss, Siora. And the worst, Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the worst, Tirse. Thank you, Glendon. Dedra is the mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village of Vedlug. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the mall of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaixe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. 
try to find this High King. Thank you, Glendad. Quite while I'm sick. I hope that you will find him. You know, I would like to keep Constantine informed, so we're swinging back to New Serene first. I didn't even think about that. I must say, it does make me happy. I promise I won't, alright? What is going on here? Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then, all of a sudden, one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp, but I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound, grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off, and I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that Islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. That your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again. I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Why didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir. Can that man ever 
catch a break. Could he not have waited for me? Oh, damn it all. I... I hope he's okay. 